right, John, it's the same old storyline here in Las Vegas. Gonzaga and St. Mary's meeting in the WCC title game once again. History in the making tonight here at Northern Quest as the 2012 Women's Boxing Olympic Trials are set to begin tonight. These Zag fans know how to party tonight. One down. To say Cougars holding their final scrimmage today for the Crimson and Gray game next weekend. We are here in Las Vegas at the Orleans Arena getting ready to work. We're all credentialed up and ready to go. Hi, Steph. Well, I was just talking to a Miami fan and I told him I'd rather have the game in Miami because it was warmer. It is cold out here. Luck was on the women's side today, but it was more than just luck as the Zags prove they have talent. You know, one of your quotes says Ryan Leaf, the NFL bust, Ryan Leaf, the PR train wreck. Ryan Leaf, the cocky jerk. It was a big Cougs, day. Especially. Your Cougs. I know you wanted to gloat <laughs> about know. this here. I know. But we're talking about the Zags first. <laughs> Talk to me about how your life has changed since that movie came out. Well, I'm glad you didn't ask me, has my life changed? <laughs> I know I've got, That's a stupid <laughs> question, you know. But also some notables to watch out for tonight. NIT selection show coming up at 6 o'clock. UW predicted to be in the NIT this year as well as uh, Washington State and Idaho and Eastern Washington. Hopefully, maybe the CBI. We're not quite sure yet, but uh, of course, we'll keep you updated on all of that. Another Easter Sunday at the Masters, the world's best golfers chasing that green jacket for a day of stress and miracles, hoping to end the day in Butler Cabin. Hi guys, well hey, guess what? Well, the Gonzaga Bulldogs making history today, earning their first ever at-large bid to the NCAA tournament. You're right, Alex, Gonzaga Bulldogs are proud of the fact that they have been here before and they're using that to their advantage. Tip-off is set for 6 p.m. live on KHQ and both seniors are expected to address the crowd after the game. All right, that's sports, more news and weather right after the break.